Hello, hello everyone, it's Joseph here, and welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. So, this is one of my greatest gameplays of the Black Ops 6 beta so far, and we are just halfway done with the weekend too. So, uh, please be sure to stay tuned for the rest of the video, as this was my highest kill count game so far in the Black Ops 6 beta. Alright, um, I'm going to spoil it a little bit with the thumbnail, but um, we dropped 58 kills. Probably probably would have been 60 if I landed a few lucky shots, but um, nonetheless, it was a great run game and the sweatiest one, might I say, as it was played during the free weekend beta where people can play the game for free, as the first week was all pre-ordered players like myself playing the game but uh yeah so 58 and i believe we dropped a death unfortunately we got killed many many times in this one but uh we got about roughly 32 deaths to 58 kills which is still is a great ratio um but yeah so i was uh on youtube trying to find out what's the best classes to use and it seems like a lot of people prefer the Jackal, but uh, as you can see, I changed it out to the C9. Also, in this sequence, um, I tried to knife this guy, and he manages to kill me. But yeah, so that was a bit funny how I couldn't land that knife. But anyway, so I tried using the Jackal, and it just was not for me. And uh, I think the strategy for me... It's just to use the C9 as it's an, it's an absolute beast. So with that said, um, in the future video, I will try to use the sniper more and more. So um, perhaps in this one, I started, it was actually this video actually, that I started to use the sniper more and more. And it, it was with a different scope, this large scope. Um, I'm still getting used to it, of course, as I use the SMG class more than anything else in the beta. But um, I do hit a few lucky snipes with the sniper in this one, in about uh, a minute from now. And in a few different games I also streamed as well. So I was looking on YouTube to kind of see who has the highest kill count so far. And I think the number one player might be Skump. And he is a Call of Duty streamer who I watched a long time ago and back then it was around 2018 2019 where I stopped watching a lot of Call of Duty content because I was watching and playing the same game at the time for the for the course of the next six years which was uh, the police game modification LSPFR Los, Los Santos Mr. Prime vs. Swans allowing you to play as a police officer in the city of Los Santos, basically, on the PC. So I watched people play that, and then I've, of course, I played it a lot myself for the, over the last six years. I'm not going to go into it too much, but um, now I'm, in, I'm transitioning from that to Call of Duty content, and it's so hard, it's so hard to do that. But yeah, so right here I hit a Semtex kill, and then in two seconds, I get two back-to-back -back quick scope sniper shots, one and two. So I thought that was pretty clean. And if you did enjoy that, please be sure to subscribe for more clips just like that. Yeah, so that clip was just amazing. I don't know how on earth I hit that shot, but that was just so cool, man. That was just such a cool snipe back-to-back, -back, and um, I hope to do more of them. You'll see many more insane sniper quick scopes uh, throughout the next couple of games but again in this game play specifically I focused on the C9 SMG mostly as I was falling behind a couple times uh, throughout the match and uh, this this C9 SMG is just the most competitive dominant gun I have ever used in the beta so with that said so Scump had 78 kills, and I think maybe 30 deaths as well, maybe a bit less, and um, that was in a hard point match. I think now he's up to 100 kills, 
or so maybe, a bit less, um, for his best game. So it's really awesome to see myself being able to hit these high kill counts as a larger content creator than myself would be able to do. Again, um, I'm returning to Call of Duty after a six long year hiatus. So I'm really impressing myself here, dominating the, the beta as I am. And it's just so crazy to come back to it so naturally and just play the game that I love, you know? And again, transitioning my content on YouTube, it's, it's so hard to do because it's it's what I've been doing for the last six years and it's all really people know. And I try to, you know, introduce new games to the channel every now and then to kind of differentiate my, my, my content for more variety for people to enjoy. But nothing quite stuck with it, unlike the Black Ops 6 beta content, you know, this, this beta is just so special to me. And it's just... It's just easy to transition my content into Call of Duty because it's so natural as I have played it for a very long time before I started to do YouTube, which people don't know that I have done. So speaking of that, um, my favorite Call of Duty title was Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, and it's also the one that I spent a lot of time on, which uh, led me to 3rd Prestige. And at the time, you know, this was around 2013, 2014, so it was around the time that I switched back and forth between the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 consoles as I wanted free internet, but I also wanted to make more friends. So it was just that constant switch back and forth, but now I ended up just buying both of them. But yeah, so back to Call of Duty and uh whatnot so yeah i was just on youtube you know searching for the, the latest uh, favorites of what classes people enjoyed you know using and whatnot and some of them is the jackal smg and then the shotgun as well and i, I started to use the shotgun a lot which is, is probably the next video you'll see and that game was played in pits and that map is crazy crazy fun and um yeah it's just uh just adjusting to creating call of duty content again it's just uh, a different pace but it's very crucial right now because i am taking a break from my main content until gta 6 you know because it's become so re repetitive you know with the police patrolling you see the same thing every day you know what you're going to get into and uh, I'm just tired I'm just tired of it as a content creator you know like what's the point of doing the same thing every day when there's nothing changing you know and then also there will come a point where my audience they might not want to see the same thing every single day either you know and some people don't think like that. They just think, oh, well, I know what this content is, so I'll just watch it because I'm familiar with it, you know, and they might not think like I do. They, they might think, oh, well, you know, it's, it's new content, it's a new game, and that just doesn't excite me, so I'm just going to watch what I want to watch Why I subscribe to your channel. And it, it sucks. It sucks that happens, which happens a lot, you know. And um, I don't, I don't know how to combat that because people, I can't change people' preferences, you know. But I, I can't watch people, you know, play the same thing every day on their channel either. But if, if they're not doing anything different, which most of them are not doing anything different, they're just doing the same thing. Every day, like myself, trying to create something new in that universe, and there's hardly nothing unique coming out of it any anymore. So we're kind of at a, um, for me particularly, I'm kind of at a point where I'm kind of struggling to transition the channel because a lot of people 
stopped watching my content because I don't do the police game stuff anymore. And it's it's a huge risk I took. But I think it's gonna pay off in the long run, you know, trying to preserve my channel. You know, trying to create something new and exciting. Even if that means losing half of my viewership daily. For reference, um, there was a thousand people that tuned into my channel daily for the last six years that I can remember checking my analytics. There was always a thousand to eight hundred people on average watching my channel back to back every week after month after month. And ever since that announcement, you know, it, it just seems to have dropped by half, which blows my mind, you know, thinking that people watch your channel for yourself, uh, for the creator, but it seems like there's a lot of people that watch your channel for your content as opposed to you. And that's a hard pill to swallow, but again, I have the experience, I have the feeling of that happening and I witnessed that happening to me in real time which is very unfortunate but uh, it's I just hope that Call of Duty you know I find people who will resonate with the content and that will love it so I can again move forward to people looking forward to my content that I upload so yeah it's very very sad man but again this is just a, this is just a crucial time because I'm, I'm making the biggest change of my YouTube hobby, you know, changing mainly what I upload, and it's a huge turning point for my channel, so I will appreciate every one of you subscribing to the channel, giving a like, a comment, and even sharing it. It will really help support the, the channel, and uh, of course, uh, please be sure to follow me on, on Kick for all the future streams, of course. Sorry for the ramble, but I just wanted to make that a little note there. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Peace.